Hi, I'm Derek. I'm Greg. And I'm Steve. Welcome to the Men of the Dead, and this is Monday. Hi everybody, welcome to another week here on The Den. So the video was going to be mostly me, and it'll be me next week as well. The boys are here right now. They are in the background. Hi! Oh, I'll just turn the camera around so you can see them and their lovely faces. Hi. It's me, Steve. We just got back from camping. We're all extremely tired. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I might be slightly hungover. <laughs> <laughs> might be. I am. <laughs> Greg is burnt out today. And Greg is just burnt out. So yeah, we burnt. are, uh, we're just kind of chilling out here. And we're yeah, and I've been having a pretty active vacation so far. I've been on vacation since Wednesday. Wednesday, <laughs> I spent at uh, the Toronto Islands for the day. Thursday, me and Pudge, aka Nanook, aka Chris Drummer, aka something probably. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we spent the day at Canada's Wonderland, and then we went camping at the Point um, this weekend, which I can't show pictures of because it's also, as we saw the last time the video we went there, it's a nudist resort. You can't really post pictures. Oh, I'm not taking any pictures. So, it was a fun weekend, and as you can see, I'm very tan right now. Um, so, my Girl, friend, look how tan you look. Girl, look how tan I look. Anyways, it was a fun weekend. Um, so right now we're kind of just chilling out. Tomorrow is like my day off from doing activities on my vacation before I head to Tr head to Montreal for a week. So I was just planning on making a big meal for the boys. So I figured let's just do a video on how I make pizza dough and pizza sauce. I won't have the full finished product ready by the time we're done and edit this video and it's online, but I got pictures. We'll post a picture in the comments. We'll post the pictures in the, we'll post pictures online uh, on the Facebook page afterwards. There you go. Yeah, but I'll also, at the end of this video, I'll post pictures of past pizzas, the past pizza projects I have done. So you can see what the crust looks like when it's cooked, because you haven't seen a cooked pizza crust before, I'm assuming. What bear doesn't like pizza? What bear doesn't like pizza? All right, because my plan tomorrow is I'm going to make them like a three course meal. We're going to do cauliflower poppers. Cauliflower poppers, not poppers. <laughs> We're not doing poppers before we eat, jeez. Um, and I'm gonna make a margarita pizza, and then I'm gonna do a maritime blueberry uh, blueberry brunch, blueberry cr crumble to go with it for dessert. So, it will be great. So let's get started. Okay, so I guess we gotta, to, the first step to get this started is gonna be a yeast base here. So we're gonna do, uh, uh, a quarter, one and a three quarters teaspoons of yeast in a cup of water. What yeast. kind of yeast is it? It is active, dry yeast. Oh, baby. <laughs> All I can think of is <laughs> Clitter turned my yeast collection into a jewel collection. <laughs> <laughs> So I got it, I'm just gonna put it in, in warm water for now, and then we're just gonna let it sit and activate for about five minutes. Do you have to put sugar in it? Nope, uh, the sugar actually will get going into my actual flour base itself. But yeah, I'm just gonna stir this. Yeah, I'm gonna do this for 30 seconds, make sure that we don't have any granules floating at the top, and then we'll know if it's good to go from there. Hold on, I'm also not getting quite in the shot either. Hi, here I am. <laughs> Betty, I see you looking. It's just yeast, it's not chicken. It's not chicken. Don't even think about it. Don't even think there. about coming up here, Betty. <laughs> Anytime we're in the kitchen and Betty is always like kind of poised, looks like she's poised to attack. Like, can we see her there? Yeah. She's perches herself right there and she just waits for something to drop. She was waiting for the chicken earlier. And it's usually chicken, especially when we're working with fried chicken, because what has Greg done to her? Are Greg? You doing the low fried chicken. He's declining to answer. Not even speaking. Greg's yeah, too burnt out to deal with this level of harassment. <laughs> it's true. And he's, and he's, paying, and he's focusing pretty much on his WWE game as well. Uh, so, he's focused. All right. What? 
What indeed? I lost. <laughs> you lost? I lost. I right, lost. What was that? You uh, yes, I am still recording. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So the yeast looks good. There's nothing floating at the top here. I don't want to tilt the bowl too much. I can tilt the camera. There you go. So we're good to go here. It's kind of throffy. There's nothing growing at the top. We're good to go there. And the next thing we're going to do is three and a half cups of flour. And let's see here. Well, I got it right down here. And sugar. I think there would be sugar in pizza dough. There sugar. is definitely sugar in pizza dough. There is definitely sugar in my pizza dough. All right, so let's so see how much am I using? One tablespoon. Okay. Okay. This fancy contraption that was posted on some Facebook group by me. They're like, "What is this? This is a dough hook. So if you want to manually do something without, if you don't have a, if you don't have a stand mixer, this is what you would use." It reminds me of the symbol from Doctor Strange's little like sanctum. <laughs> so it's like the Doctor Strange of uh, the Doctor Strange uh, magic of yes of yeah, dough. Of dough. And I also have ice water in the freezer as well. Ew. Yes. Oh. Here. Here, so I'm gonna reserve some of this water. So this water's, uh, so yeah, so just basically, not frozen, but definitely cold water. And I'm gonna put two tablespoons aside of this. Then I'm gonna mix the rest into the bowl over here. Then much like so easier to use for the stand mixer, of course, but if you don't have one, because stand mixers are pretty freaking expensive, and hand, a lot of hand mixers don't come with the separate dough hooks, this is the way you would do it, or you can do it with your hands as well. I prefer not to get my hands sticky and constantly have to watch all the time, so. Oh, um, you don't like sticky hands? I don't like sticky hands. I'm a sticky mouth. Oh, <laughs> that's a different story. All right. time at Pride, I went to a donut place in Toronto called Glory Hole Donuts. Tell us more about Glory Hole Donuts, Steve. Well, I bought a donut, and then as she was handing my donut, she's like, oh, let me give you a napkin. You don't want to get a sticky face. Well, not yet anyways. Oh. And I started laughing my ass off. Uh, and then she was like, oh my god, I'm sorry if that crossed the line. So I was like, no, it's good. It was funny. <laughs> Better than some other things that uh, other uh, waiters at other restaurants have said to me. I won't mention what someone said to me during the double down phases of a KFC. <laughs> <laughs> it was very problematic. That is not, yeah, it's very problematic what they, what they had to say to me about, about the double down. But I will not repeat it. Good. All right, so just making sure I've got everything here. So I'm going to pour the yeast mixture in here as well. And then to make sure we got everything else, we're just going to put that reserved water in here so we get everything else that was just that was stuck in the bowl. I sorry if you guys hear me swearing in the background. This match is not going well. Trying to injure legs. All I'm trying to do is injure some legs. <laughs> Greg's been having a lot of fun with the newest. Uh, what year of WWE is it? 22K? It's uh, 2K20. 
2K2022. Nice. So, yeah, we haven't streamed in a while. Um, it's been something I've, thought, I've been thinking about trying to, like, getting back into eventually, but we've really been enjoying... Summer's been busy. Like, it's really been a very hectic summer. Well, we're making up for three years of lost time. Exactly, like that is just it. Like we have three years of lost time where we haven't been able to do anything. So it's just like, let's, let's just do everything we possibly can. So things that we did do during the pandemic are kind of put off to the side. So I'm not near baking near as much as I used to. Um, streaming, it's just, it's fun. I, I'll be back on eventually, but it's just not something that's to the forefront of what we want to do currently. So right now it's making lasting summer memories post lockdown. So that's the main thing. All right. So the next part of this is we're just going to be putting in some salt and we're going to mix it around again some more. Make sure it's in there and putting in about a teaspoon, two teaspoons of sea salt in here. And just want to make sure it's just mixed nice and good. I'll just gonna use my hands and get my hands sticky in here. That way we can just make sure that everything is kind of pushed in here, but you also don't want to over knead it. And you know if it's over kneading. You'll know once uh, when you do the final proofing process and it really just doesn't do anything. <laughs> but so you, you want to make sure, but basically you want to make sure that there's still some give in there. So when you push down on it, that it does start to form, like push itself back. Okay, so it should be spongy. It should be spongy, yes. Okay, and then so after this part is done, we're going to put the oil in. So we're just going to do about a teaspoon of oil to mix it all in. All right. Olive oil preferred, but really you can use anything. And just continue mixing for the next minute or so. And make sure you get everything from the bowl, like everything that you see kind of stuck to the bowl, try to pick it up while you're, as you're mixing everything in here. All right, so the oil is definitely seeping into this, which is good, that is what we want. Side, pick up the stuff that's stuck at the bottom. You don't want it to look smooth either. It's okay if it looks rough. They don't have to be pretty all the time. All right, so I think that's good there. Make sure it scrape down as well. All right, so the next step is you to take a pan that's gonna be full of oil. I'm gonna take here and just use the dough scraper to scrape this off and put this on here. And you need to wet your hands. And we're gonna be doing a stretch and fold of this dough. So hold on, let me just. Let me get my wet fingers here. So stretch and fold method, basically you just wanna move everything into like kind of like a square, like kind of a rectangle shape, kind of like, uh, I'm trying to figure out what would be the best size to do. Um, okay, do a square about 10, yeah, do a square about 10 to 12 inches. I will do probably just nine because that's what this pan is one way. And then what you want to do is just kind of work clockwise. So say, for example, you want to visualize nine and three o'clock, you pinch them and meet them together like this. And then you form the seal and then do 12 to six and do the same thing. Then fold in each of the corners to meet and press and center in here and turn the dough over and do it again. Except for we're gonna pick different sides here. So, now let's do two to eight, 
10 and four. Four corners. And then use the scraper. Here. There we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, I'm just gonna put some damp, I'm gonna put some paper towel over here and spray it so it's damp. And then we're gonna set this, at, then we're gonna set this at room temperature for 20 minutes. All right, so the last part of the pizza dough is pretty much just letting it proof in the oven. So I'm taking out the damp cloth right now, and then we're gonna transfer it over to another container. So on here, I just wanna see if there's anything else I should be doing here. All right. So essentially, this is just gonna be moved over to another container. Removing the damn cloth off of this thing. <laughs> so essentially, I'm just going to put it in a dough scraper, wow. transfer it over to this. It looks like dough. It looks like dough, but it's not quite ready yet. Uh, we're just going to put this in the fridge overnight. And then at that way, it's going to... Never mind everything dropping in there. Then we're just going to proof it from there. So what's what? why not just add to the video us making pizza sauce as well. All right, so the last step of this video, and this is just a nice, quick, and easy process, is we're gonna be making the pizza sauce. So what I do is just do, usually just take a regular size can of tomato sauce. And we have tomato paste here somewhere, I know. Fridge door, top shelf, right-hand side. Yes. Yes, we do. I usually like to put about two tablespoons worth. Not to like give it a nice stick, but not, not take too, not make it too hard. Of course, for mine, I like to have a little bit of Worcestershire as well. Do some crushed garlic. the rest since we're going to be blending this anyways I can put out these chunks in here now of course about a teaspoon of salt teaspoon of pepper as well I like mine to be peppery oh the pepper thing is not working right now <coughs> do back and forth no it's just not grinding It's not grinding. All right, so Steve's gonna work on that. I'm gonna put the rest of the ingredients in. So usually about, ooh, whole peppers came out. Yeah. Oh, it might be really broken. All right, so you might have to not put pepper into this into this batch. I've never seen that happen before. So we'll put about. A tablespoon each of each of the herbs. I do thyme, oregano. I usually just eyeball it, so you can put it however much you like for flavor, flavors. Parsley. Fennel. A 
Oh, man. Basil. We've been getting fresh basil, and I, I would prefer to use, and I will be using that for the margarita pizzas, uh, but just uh, stuff we have right now is, didn't really last through our camping trip. So afterwards, we just... Well, I guess, Steve, since I'm grinding it, you could probably just put some more peppercorns in here. Oh, there's a couple in there already that fell okay. in, so you should be okay. All right. In fact, one just flew out and hit me in the chest. it that is definitely my pizza sauce you want to taste it yeah yum nice love it all right so that is definitely our video this so that is our video for this week so uh so i'll be posting on the facebook page as well as our instagram the finished products of everything that we put together and then next week, you're going to see my adventures in Montreal. From the train ride there, to Oceaga Festival, to Bears at La Ronde, to Birthday Party at La Stud, and other adventures I have that are able to be posted on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve's coming over to say hi. 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 How are you doing? I'm excited to be having pizza tomorrow. That's how I'm doing. Yes. I'm going to do a whole three-course meal here for them, because I'm going to miss them. No. I'm gonna miss cooking for them. Oh. And then there's Greg. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you have nothing to say? No, I don't. He's burnt out. Today. He is really burnt out today. So, Poor yeah. So, <laughs> tune into the rest of the guys' videos this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment on the video below, and I'll post be posting you from later from Montreal. I'll be posting you next week from Montreal. Bye. Bye.